Hello, good morning guys. And for this, our part 5 of modes of acquisition will be discussing exchange. So, a little description. Exchange is when instead of buying an asset, we instead trade it for an old one that we already have. So, ganito ang scenario. May asset ka na existing, gusto mo bumili ng bago. Ang gagawin natin is we will be giving the old asset in exchange for receiving a new asset. And sometimes, occasionally, merong cash involved ang exchange. We'll get to that later. Pero exchange, ano ba talaga yung hallmarks ng exchange? Ano ba yung concern ng students about exchange? It is most probably this particular concept. The concept of commercial substance. So what is commercial substance? A transaction can either be classified as having commercial substance or without commercial substance. But what is this commercial substance we're talking about here? Ang commercial substance po is when the expected cash flow from the new asset received differs significantly from the old asset transferred. It is important to know whether a transaction has commercial substance or none because if an exchange has commercial substance, meron po tayong gain or loss na ire-record. Whereas kung walang commercial substance ang isang exchange, there is no gain or loss that should be recorded. So, the question is now, how do we know if there is commercial substance or none? We can explain this by assuming a scenario. For example, for the asset given in an exchange, what if hindi mo siya in exchange? What if instead of exchanging it, we sold the asset instead? How much cash do we receive? Hold that thought. What about the asset received? Instead of exchanging the asset received, what if we bought a new asset instead. How much cash do we need? So think about those two scenarios. If the potential cash result from the two are different, uh, ibinenta ko ang asset ko, may cash na natanggap. Bibili ako ng bagong asset, may cash na kailangan. Pag magkaiba ang dalawang yan, that means the exchange transaction has commercial substance. There. So going back to our definition for commercial substance, commercial substance is when the expected cash flow from the new asset received differs significantly from the old asset transferred. To understand this one better, you can just substitute the words expected cash flow with fair value. Kasi po, in problem solving, ang binibigay na wordings ay fair value. Ano po ang fair value? Fair value is the expected amount of cash you would likely receive for selling an asset on an arm's length transaction. Or it is the expected amount of cash to be paid if you are going to acquire an asset on an arm's length transaction. So fair value really is expected cash flow. So pag makita mo na magkaiba ang fair value ni asset received and asset given, there and then, that is your first hint na merong commercial substance ang isang transaction. Take note, the definition includes the word significantly. So, hindi ibig sabihin na kailangan pantay na pantay talaga ang fair value. Maaring magkaiba ang fair value pero insignificant. And the degree of significance would be based on judgment na. So, most of the time, dapat stated talaga ang commercial substance kasi merong judgment involved. But how do we really determine if a transaction has commercial substance in problem solving? Ganito po. If there is a statement like the transaction has commercial substance, then go with it. Wag mo nang kontrahin yan. So, statements could be the transaction has commercial substance or maaari ding sabihin the cash flow of the items differ significantly. So watch out for these wordings. Now, what if walang statement? Ano ang second mong titingnan? Look at the fair values. Magkaiba ba ang fair values? 
Kasi pag magkaiba ang fair values, then jackpot ka sa definition natin ng commercial substance. And lastly, if you really see no hints, when the problem is completely silent, your assumption is the transaction has commercial substance. So if you have determined na ang isang transaction po ay may commercial substance, you will have to go to another consideration and see if whether meron bang cash involved o walang cash involved ang transaction. Scenario number one. If no cash payment is involved, the asset received will be recorded at fair value of the old asset given, fair value of the new asset received, and carrying amount of the old asset given. Okay, so ganito ngayon ang exchange. You are letting go of an old asset and in turn receiving a new one. The main problem there is what would be your debit to the new asset? Ito po ang answer natin. And take note that 1, 2, and 3 are in order of priority. So meaning, ang bagong asset na matatanggap ko po ay i-debit ko unang-una kung may fair value of the old asset. And if that number 1 is not available, dun ka lang pupunta sa number 2. That is the fair value of the new asset received. And lastly, if the, if the 2 are not given, that would be the only time that you will use the carrying amount of the old asset given. What if an exchange with commercial substance has cash payment involved? Pag may cash payment po, the new asset received will be recorded at fair value of the old asset plus cash payment. This is for the payer of cash. Kung ako nagbigay ng asset tapos meron pang ibibigay na cash. On the other hand, fair value of the old asset less cash payment. This is on the side of the party receiving cash. Okay? Ang nangyayari po kasi dito is, for number one, our cost are two items. Unang-una, ang cost ko ay ang old asset na binigay. Tapos nagbayad pa ako ng cash. So that means, dalawa ang ibinayad mo. In kind and in cash. On the second naman, Nagbigay ka ng asset. Oo, nagbigay ka ng asset. Pero in exchange for that asset, dalawa ang natanggap mo. Nakatanggap ka ng new asset and then cash. So you will have to divide the value between the cash received and the asset. Kaya po dinididak ang cash sa scenario number 2. So guys, that is part 5.1 modes of acquisition by exchange. In our next video, part 5.2, we will be discussing the illustrations for modes of acquisition when there is commercial substance. So I will be linking the video down below so that you can follow right after. See you!